Hello, infidels, and welcome to the Krabs Coho replay. <laughs> um, this is actually going to be a quick replay for you guys, and probably my last Coho replay. Um, I personally have not played Coho since the announcement came out that um, Coho was going to be closing, so I'm going to have to brush up on what has not changed but just what I don't really remember and I'm gonna try my best in uh, remembering everything that I can for you guys so let's get this started this was a user submitted um, replay from a little while ago I think just a few weeks ago and I haven't gone around to it but as you can see I have gone around to it just now and funnily enough this is gonna be an American replay so <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this from the American perspective this is a replay for by Gorav, I think that's how you say his name, and he's versing Slow Rodriguez, so I don't know, that seems pretty cool. Um, he is playing as the armor commander, you can tell that because he has all these armor abilities. If we quickly switch on over to Slow Rodriguez, over on the south side, this is Longre, by the way. He is playing as the, uh, this is the terror commander. Because there's King Tigers, there's your Firestorms, and all that beautiful stuff that the Terror has. Um, well, anyway, like I said, this is going to be like the last Coho replay. It's really sad, to be honest, that Coho is going to be going down. Because personally, I thought it was one of the best games out there. I've always loved Ko, Ko um, in general. And I thought Coho was just like the next best thing to it. Um, and so, I don't know, I was, I was having a lot of hope and aspirations that, you know, would get somewhere, but, you know, it's quite unfortunate. But, to be honest, guys, I don't think you guys should be that upset that Koho is closing, because they are dropping us lots of hints. THQ and Relic are telling us lots and lots of things. Um, for example, the next evolution of the game. Now, I'm going to be a bit of a conspiracy theory um, theorist over here and we're gonna say that I'm predicting that perhaps the next game that they announced that will be coming out in August might be Co 2. I say that because Coho was recently closed down a Dawn of War expansion is coming out so it just seems sort of logical that either Co 2 would be coming out or a um, brand new strategy that we haven't even seen real-time strategy that we haven't seen at all um, but anyway that's my little theory that's of what might be happening so anyway, back to Koho here. This game actually happened before the announcement, so try to imagine yourself before this announcement. You love this game. This is exciting. <laughs> Let's just see what's happening. So right at the start, we've got Construction Pioneers from Slow Rodriguez using his sprint ability that these guys have. Um, they're level 5 Construction Pioneers, so they get those uh, that sprint ability absolutely free, sprinting away. What I actually would have liked to have seen here, I know that he's got that uh, Slow Rodriguez throwing down MG, but I'd actually love to have seen um, uh, Gorav actually take that these uh, riflemen and go up near that building to just finish off those Construction Pioneers. I mean, he had a very good opportunity to do so. And here we, here we have... Uh, Sorry, what were these guys? I didn't actually check them out, but as you can see, this hero squad threw a grenade right on these MGs, badly damaging them, taking out one guy. Very good. And in a bad position right now, Gorov is just being absolutely suppressed. He really needs to get out of here. And overall, I don't think this is actually uh, a newbie a newbie type uh, replay. This isn't going to be like a newbie university. These are actually average guys. The average Joe, so to say. Gorav, I think you guys might know him from the forum. I believe he was quite an active user on there. Um, but since Koho is going down, I'm not sure well, how that is really. I mean, I haven't really been active myself. Um, so let's speed this up a bit. Just get to the action, really. So I like this sort of start that um, Slow Rodriguez has. He has a few Revolt Grenadiers on the field. He has a motorbike for scouting. He has an MG. MGs have a... Uh, increased capture rate. I'm not too sure about that. I mean, I think he should really be taking advantage of um, what uh, army items there are to benefit the MGs, not this uh, capture rate. Enemy. Oh, very good shots here. Taking out the motor motorbike. Taking out a uh, MG squad. Very good. And these are gladiator riflemen, by the way. So these guys are um, an epic, I believe. So they're quite rare to get. And very good. That grenade ability that they have is very useful, especially early game when you're taking on um, guys like these, like the MGs. And so, Gwerev has to get out of there, taking too many casualties. 
not exactly sure why he's trying to claim this building. Maybe he's just trying to stop um, slow to regress from uh, getting in there. Um, but fair enough. I mean, he's not going to really last in there too long. And <laughs> as you can see, one grenade from these Cat and Misers, Volks Grandiers, absolutely taking them out. Guerrero saying, ugh, because that was a bit painful. Um, let's just see what the abilities these guys have. So over here we have Guerav. He has armor bounty. So when you have your armor out, these uh, activating this ability, which is absolutely free, killing any guys will give you resources and whatnot. So a little beautiful uh, ability to uh, use whenever you can. Um, he also has HVAP rounds, so more piercing um, shells from your tanks. He's also got self repair. Uh, Calliope's and he's got Pershing reinforcements. Okay, so we got a, quite a bit of an engagement here. I like this we set up here. So you got guys coming up behind the uh, <laughs> behind the wall. And a bit too slow here. There's so much action going on. Grenade absolutely killing all those guys. I think uh, Guerra was trying to get a we flanking squad on the side, but unfortunately just a bit too slow. These MGs are back backing each other up, so that's very good. And right now it's looking quite tough for uh, Grev. I mean, really when you have um, a rifleman start with, uh, with all your riflemen, you should be really taking advantage of your capping power. So as you can see, like, Grev really doesn't have much on the field right now. He doesn't much have or have uh, much strategic points. He should really be uh, prioritizing, taking as much as he can, harassing, having that early advantage in the game. Maybe not so much in um, Coho, it might be a bit hard, but in Vico, um, it's very, very important to do as an American player. Always harass, always uh, grab points when you can. Use your early advantage. And so, just seeing Slodriguez responding to the situation, he sees that one of his points is getting capped, so he's getting a few guys to try and take out these engineers. Engineers get in the building very quickly. And very good defensive positioning there. Now, as you can see, right now, Grev has only three um, riflemen squads and two um, two engineers, so that's not very many men at seven minutes into the game. If we go on over to Rodriguez, he has seven units in total. And mind you, he lost a motorbike earlier, and also a few other guys. So right now, uh, Rodriguez has the um, fighting ability. He has the manpower. I absolutely love that right there. Did you see that? That grenade went flying over into that building there. Grenades can be thrown over uh, hedges like that, so very useful. Keep that in mind. Also, like this use of propaganda war coming down, chasing away Guerev. So right now, Guerev really needs to have a, a a pushing force. Really, I mean. You know, he's not really doing much. I mean, he keeps on getting suppressed. Propaganda keeps on being thrown down on him. He really needs to be pushing in. He really needs to try some countering maneuvers, as in separating his squads, getting him coming from different directions. That way, that's what you really need. Not be blobbing up your guys. And so we just see this barracks taking a bit of MG damage. MG actually, MGs don't actually do any damage to buildings um, like this. They can do damage to the MG nests because MG nests are just weak, they can take bullet damage really easily. But apart from that, nothing really going down in the field right now. We just see a wee bunker right here from um, Silver Rigas. Probably just bunkering down. I'm guessing this is going to become either an MG covering this, um, covering this um, victory point, sorry, or a medic bunker. Both would be pretty good right now. And here we go, here's our, our little fighting pushing force that I was talking about an M10 because right now um, so Rodriguez is having a hard time because he's got a lot of anti-infantry mind you like all the uh, all the motorcycles all the MGs on the field but he doesn't really have much in ter terms of anti-tank I guess he wasn't really expecting it if he had a bit more um, folks grenadiers on the field and Panzerfaust uh, discount then he could easily use the um, Panzerfaust for 22 ammunition to take out these Greyhounds absolutely no problem but unfortunately he doesn't really have the fighting force right now in terms of Volk's Grenadiers. And so we can see Guerrev being a bit harassing with his M8. That's absolutely great. Whenever you got an M8, always be harassing. Stay far away from um, Volk's Grenadiers or any anti-tank. 
um, such as Pandrashrex or the pack at, at the tank because these Greyhounds will die very easily um, so just keep your distance and always harass them from far away so as you can see just little skirmishes going on and <laughs> that medic bunker was turned into a well, that bunker was turned into a medic bunker should I say I think that's a pretty good choice because he has a lot of infantry right now so that would make a very good use of um, getting Grandeur squads plus the also the positioning of this would allow him to put an MG in here and cover this victory point so very good positioning of the bunker I like how it's a medic bunker as well so he's gonna be getting all these free guys as you can see Greyhound from um, uh, Guerv taking quite a bit of damage this Greyhound has uh, plus 15% weapon damage, also plus 20% rate of fire. So pretty good items. Um, whenever you got army items for your guys, just always try to capitalize on what you can. Like for example, that MG um, capture increase for that uh, Rodriguez had. I don't know. I mean, MGs don't really capture, do they? So it was sort of a silly um, idea. So. Rodriguez taking out this half track. He got he has a uh, plus sixteen percent health on that. Pretty good because uh, half tracks are actually quite weak vehicles. They die quite easily. So I like how he wants a bit more um, health on that. Having a half track on the front will also allow him to reinforce without having to retreat. So very good. Also love this. Um, Guerrero throws a grenade. Rodriguez noticing that quickly runs away and uh, dodges that grenade. Loss of ammunition for Guerrero there, and unfortunately, wow, basically being cut off now. And as you guys can see, uh, you can see Rodriguez took this uh, point here. This point is very essential in this uh, in uh, Longre because it cuts off a lot of points. Um, if you don't have this you'll notice that you lose a lot of resources so always try to keep this protected put mines around to have an MG covering it just do not lose these points there are a few essential points on the map for example this is another cutoff point it's usually manpower ma uh, points that are cutoff points and so we have Guerrero just taking some points right now trying to recover a bit and being a bit harassive also like throwing this little grenade unfortunately not doing <laughs> as well as I thought um, perhaps if he was a bit closer and threw that grenade he would definitely got bang on right in the center of those MG's but that was uh, quite unfortunate and so basically Rodriguez has pretty good control of the map right now um, he's got a guy in this uh, half track providing two little MG's here they're not they're not the same damage and suppressive uh, fire as normal MG but you know they do their job they do a little bit of damage so it's pretty cool that you have one in the back one in the front so even when you're trying to run away you can still be firing with your MG at all times and as you can see right now on the map 